If you don't know me just yet, then my name is Axela Renoa and today is a special video because I've decided to answer question, actually one of the questions that comes the most often from my followers, subscribers and people who observe me online. So if you want to learn a little bit about me, keep watching. I believe that inspiration comes from action, but when we're talking about the most cliche way of being inspired and staying inspired, it's simply having the courage to experience different things in life. I'm hugely inspired by people around me and starting from my mom and her life and her struggles through people that I've met in the past who have hurt me even or going through people who I have met recently and who inspired me to go even further in my business but also look more internally I would say that people are the number one inspiration for me whether I see or meet people whether I see them in movies I'm often inspired also by screenplays so when you think about movies or theater and the screenwriters that write the dialogues I'm very often inspired by them because it takes a real craftsman to actually write something good and there's always the same little underlining uh, motto behind it but I love how modern uh, creators especially those whose videos or movies are available on netflix i believe are really really good and i'm grateful to netflix because they have discovered amazing talent whereas before you would have to probably struggle for years and most people wouldn't be ever discovered so the next thing that i get inspired by is actually science i am hugely interested in science uh, such as neuroscience brain science and psychology especially in business because i always say it to my clients but in business and in life we will always be surrounded by people unless we go somewhere to the arctic or to live in the middle of the woods we will always have people around us and in business we are people and we create as people, but we also create for people. So if you understand the connection that there are always people who will be listening, looking, even if you know, you're in a situation where they don't comment yet, they don't follow yet, they don't respond yet, you will notice that as you release something into the world that makes them interested, they will sign up. They will start commenting, they will send you DMs and so on. So um, people are always at the forefront for me, specifically when it comes to keeping inspired. And I create for people, I talk to people, and I think the major goal in my life is to stay around people and help others. And that makes me super inspired. I also get inspired by art, as cliche as that sounds. I used to work in creative environment. I was creative leader in a corporate environment and therefore there is still this uh, creative part of my brain gets activated when I see something interesting and it could be a little video, it could be a photograph or a piece of music. I'm hugely inspired by music. I find music really amazing as a tool in business and personal life and I've recently discovered that if I add a piano music such as an Audi or maybe Hans Zimmer to my morning routine uh, before I start my workday, I get so much more energetic. I get so much more excited about what I'm about to do. Even I would say that um, staying inspired is a matter of continuously striving to experience life and experience new things. And I don't mean going somewhere new or meeting someone new every single day because there is time in your business where you have to really focus, you have to have a discipline and every Every variation from your discipline from your routine takes you further away from the goal in your mind so I would say whenever you set the time for yourself and it's hugely important to set breaks for yourself and not go you know not tunnel our vision and nothing else because this this is the easiest way to create burnout or disinterest in what you do at some point and it may take you years to realize but it happens to most of people so continuously experiencing life in various forms and even if you're an introvert and you don't need as much of stimuli from the outside world if you take longer to recover it is still worth going out and the best example of that is my partner who used to be much more introverted than he is now even though he still needs a lot of time to recover after social gathering it is much better for him if we go somewhere new and um, I recommend going to new places at least a couple of times a year and experiencing new cuisines, new dishes 
it keeps your brain interested. It disrupts the pattern as well, but in a way it's a good thing. I hope this was helpful and this answered your questions. If you would love to ask any questions, feel free to comment down below if you would like to learn more about me. And if you want to do it live, then I totally invite you to one of my lives, which are happening usually on Tuesdays on Facebook or on Wednesdays on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video or want to know a little bit more about setting and growing and scaling your online business, then subscribe to this channel because we are talking anything branding, marketing, sales, mindset, and having your online business of freedom. So click the little bell icon so you get notified whenever a new video gets released.